Push the button. Yeah, come on, push the button. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. What's up, influential family? Welcome back to Cooking with Influential Talent. And tonight I have something really special for you all, okay? So it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and as you can see, I got to put on for the ladies. So we got some wonderful pink ingredients that I'm going to put together in this delicious dish. And I hope you guys like it. And again, we're going to use the air fryer tonight. Told you guys, we're going to push it to the limit. Let's go. All right, so let's see what temperature we need for salmon in the air fryer. Okay, so brush with oil at 400 degrees and cook for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, so we're gonna do that. And I'm also gonna have some stir fried vegetables to go with this. Um, let me see, they're frozen. Oh yeah, so a tablespoon of oil 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. So I feel like with the air fryer, when in doubt, go to 400 degrees. So let's go. All right, so for the salmon, gonna keep it simple. I've got some chopped garlic. Can you see how I see that? Got garlic. That one's big. We're gonna lump it a little more on that one. And some soy sauce. All right? Whatever brand you like. All right, this is gonna add some salt. And then I'm also gonna do what they recommended and add a little bit of oil right at the end before I pop it in, okay? I should wear gloves. Let's rub that in really good. Can you guys see that? Rub all the garlic and soy. Right. Make sure we're getting it underneath. some oil and my brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit on there, right? A little bit. A little bit. I'm just gonna do one side. Alright, that should be good. Well, might as well try to do the back end. <laughs> Don't forget about your back end. in there all right guys it's looking amazing and I think that's probably as long as I'm gonna let it go I went to about um, it was one minute and some change left so it probably was about 12 minutes all right and I think that's great uh, temperature for the wontons. We're gonna let this cool just a little bit um, because you don't want the wontons to break from the heat. All right, so I can handle the salmon with my hands. It's still a little warm actually, but by the time I chop it, it's still gonna cool down some more. I actually, for these, I wanna leave the salmon kinda chunky. Um, 
Because for one thing, when you cut into it, you'll be able to see the color in there. You'll be able to see the salmon and um, the flavor is going to stand out. The bigger bites, the more salmon you're going to taste, all right? So you can see I'm doing big chunks, just like that. These crispier pieces I'm going to save and probably just eat. <laughs> Because they tend to rip the wonton wrapper, so I'm just going to leave those on the side. Alright. And yeah, just chop it down like so. Smells so good. I wish you guys could smell what it smells like in here. Man. All right, family. So what I want to do, since this is breast cancer awareness themed, is make the wontons heart shaped. So that's my goal. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that but I'm gonna try, okay? So I'm gonna fold it over like that because I thought that would be smart and it would be easier to make a heart shape out of it. Um, I have a smaller knife, it's probably better too, but all right, I'm gonna try to keep as much dough as I can. I don't have a cookie cutter. That would have been smart. Next time. cute especially when it cooks up we're gonna put our filling in let's see how big that can be and save your strips I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that that's not gonna be completely wasted now I'm gonna get some of my filling Ooh, it's so delicious too guys all right I want to still make these kind of big. Maybe I could do some over here, some over there, some in the middle. And hopefully it closes. Yeah. All right, let's try that. Because you don't want to overfill these two and then they bust open on you. Alright, so let's get some water. Go around the edge. Alright, my hands are dirty. Woo! Now, let's hopefully we can close this up really nice. And what I'm actually going to do. Alright, keep trying to pinch that around first. And if you need more room, just kind of push your filling back like so. Mm, I think I'm doing a good job. Alright, yeah. I may have put too much filling. Like, I think you definitely wouldn't want more filling than what I've got here already. It's really full. I barely have room to close it. All right, All right. And there it is. Now, I'm gonna set myself up for success and show you a trick. All right, so I'm gonna take a fork and just kind of press down the edges. And not only is this gonna help keep it sealed, but it creates a really cute pattern on the edge. And since this one is ultra stuffed, pinching those sides down is gonna be really important. So 
I'm pressing really hard. And that's just going to be a little trick to help us out since we have a lot of stuffing. But you know what I found though also is since we are putting this in the air fryer, if you have holes in your wraps, it really doesn't matter because it doesn't spill over like it would frying. So another benefit to using the air fryer over oil, you know? So if anything, like I have a small hole over here, but it's just gonna still crisp up the same way that it would if I was frying. So. Push the button. Yeah, come on, push your button. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button.